Well, hello, good afternoon, and welcome. As Hereford entertain Blythe Spartans Hereford. in goal number one, Curtis Bond. Two, Aaron Skinner. Three, Lewis Hudson. Four, Oreo Tashira. Seven, Yusuf Usise. Eight, Alex Babos. Nine, Jason Cowley. Seventeen, Tope Abadei. Twenty, Lasana Mendes. Twenty-seven is Nathan Cameron. And twenty-eight, Kyle Hawkins. In goal number 30, Dan Langley. Two, Reese Evans. Five, Finn Cousin Dawson. Six, Jack Bodnam. Seven, Oliver Thompson. Eight, Jordan Hickey. Eleven, Jordan Cook. Sixteen, Elliot Forbes. Seventeen, Nicky Devidix. Twenty-four, Will McGowan. And twenty-five, Harry Gardner. On the Over to Skinner. Nicely taken down on his chest. Looking to play it over the top towards Jason Cowley. Bodenham was back there, though, to head away. It's fallen to Obaday. Tries his luck from a long way out there, Obaday. Good That's effort good. there. Back to Mendes. Neat play to turn away from Oof. Gardner there. And a through ball's just fallen to Babos here. Can he finish? Yes, he can! <laughs> the ball fell to Babos after Mendes tried to play it through. Fantastic finish there from Alex Babos. And he's made it 1-0 to the balls here, Frank, after around about 10 minutes gone. Yeah, great goal. Yeah, good interplay on this side. Hudson involved, of course. Uh, and Mendes as well. And the ball just ricocheted through to, uh, to him. It could have ricocheted to him or to Cowley, couldn't it? One of them. And he just took his time, drew the goalkeeper and planted it into the far corner. Great goal. Uh, all the big men up for Hereford. Yeah, Hawkins and Cameron have both made their way forward. In comes the ball from Babos, oh. and Cowley gets his head to it. It's not too far wide of that right-hand post from Cowley there. He just made that to Thompson. Visitors just looking to get their foot on the ball here, and a nice ball from Devadix finds McGowan inside the box, but Hudson's there once more, coming across from the left-back position. He's done ever so well there. Inside the box here, Obaday, challenge, but it's fallen to Skinner. Cross comes in towards Babos, headed out by Cousin Dawson. To Shearer on the edge of the box. CC to Hudson. Cross comes in from Hudson. Babos gets his head to it. And it's not too far wide of that post. Forbes. Back with the captain now. Cousin Dawson. Into McGowan who's dropped deep to pick up the ball. Slid through towards Cook there. He gets his foot to that there. Thompson. And he's put it into the bottom left hand corner. It was the number seven there. Sorry Cook who just was found by that slide through ball yeah and he slid it into the bottom left hand corner of Pons net there to make it one all here at Edgar Street and it's really against the run of play here Frank totally against the run of play yeah back to Devadix, but a rare sloppy touch from the captain sees Babos come away with it he's pulled back briefly but he's fed through Cowley Cowley can he finish here yes he can fantastic break there from Hereford as Babos came away with the ball after Devadix sloppy touch slid it through to Cowley who was bearing down on goal and he good job the it. referee didn't blow up for the foul uh, then when Devadix tried to pull him back uh, but he, instead he, said play, he played the advantage and he played it well and we converted the advantage yeah Babos um, slid it through for Cowley and he smashed it past Langley in the Blythe goal Luke Haynes was sent off after 54 minutes but the balls were already 3-0 down at that point or the ball here goal to again. Cowley, but he's offside. Uh, yeah, offside yeah. flag went up very early there indeed from the linesman. After Graham Fenton was sacked in December, sloppy touch from Tashira just allows Blythe to come away with it. And a rather audacious attempt there from McGowan. Sees him try to chip Pond, but doesn't look like he's going to be used though by Babos. In comes the corner from him towards that near post and Cowley gets his head to it. He's made it 3-1. Fantastic header from Cowley there, who got across the face of goal to flick it into that bottom corner of Blythe's net. That's the second time this game that uh, he's headed on crosses from uh, Babos. First one went wide of the post. That one, great header into the far corner. And exactly what you said when this half started, what we needed was an early goal to put it to put it to bed and what a trying to slide it through to McGowan there but cut out by Cameron Kuyar now has acres of space to run into here and he's driving with the ball Cowley up front with him does find the number nine 
County now opts to shoot from a long way out, and it's way over Langley's yeah, bar. But he's got the, the season. The positions in the top seven can change with every goal that goes in. McGarren looks forward into the box where Gardner's waiting, and a fantastic save there from Pont to deny him. By his stance, it looks like he may well be trying his luck at goal here, the captain. Will be Devedick's two step out. Oh, and it sails wide of Curtis Pond's post. Pond was. Yeah, that's a, big, uh, that's a big match there, Frank, isn't it? In the it is. Fight for safety. Ball's just in danger there, fighting for County, and County gets onto it and knocks it into the back of the net. Well, Harrison Clark has not been on the field that long, and he was just trying to shepherd it back for goalkeeper there, Dan Langley. But as we all know, Jason Cowley is tenacious, and he stepped in right in front of Aitken there to just prod that one home. Well, he's made it Hereford for Blythe Spartans. What one. a terrible error from uh, the Blythe defence. Oh dear, no. Blythe supporters opposite are leaving. Oh dear. I don't think the bus is going <laughs> until the match is over, though. Um, Some tricky play there. Sees Langley getting across. Sees uh, Kuya, sorry, getting across. It's cleared up into the air by Cousin Dawson. And Cowley tries the overhead kick. Hits the bar. Fantastic wow. effort there from Cowley. <laughs> trait this 4 4 2 block from Hereford. It's fed in nicely to Thompson on the edge of the box. Now over to Aitkin. Goes down under a challenge oh. from Hudson, and the penalty's been given. Yeah. Uh, we were just calling Hudson's debut faultless for a second there. Yeah. It's Devadix who puts it past Pond. It may well be just a consolation for Blythe, but with ten Skinner for Babos. Phillips tries to keep it in play, headed out by Clark. Babos heads it back for Williams in the box. Nice turn from Williams there. Sees him cut the ball across, and it's in off. I believe a Blythe player. It might have come off Kuya from our angle here. It's difficult to see, but it was a slight nick inside the box and it's into the back of the Blythe net 4-5-2 here Frank and if the game wasn't already sealed it has now been sealed it has now been sealed yep yeah. you, uh, you have to say probably 5 is a bit flattering in a way um, particularly as uh, taken by Gardner under pressure though from Hawkinson to Shearer but he does ever so well to feed Thompson down this left wing he's got McGowan with him he feeds McGowan up just inside the box now to Aiken who shoots and a fantastic block there from Nathan Cameron. Thompson. Back to Boddenham. Now Clark as the referee's final whistle blows. Fantastic win for Hereford here at Edgar Street which gets them right back into that playoff conversation.